magic of Hopkins, in my opinion, is that we're driven by science. We're, we're driven by the motivation to solve tough problems that could have a potential transformative impact in our society. I think that that's really central to research, but also central to our department. That real interest in being the first one to see something or to make a connection between two things. And when you're looking at you know, where to go for graduate school, you want a whole panel of people who are going to be a great fit for you. The lab, the resources, the people. I chose the pharmacology program really because of the people. When I was interviewing, I feel like uh, I could be friends with these students and even faculties, even though they're all accomplished scientists. They genuinely like cared about who I was, not just my science, but also my personality, where I was from, my background stories. It seems like they were looking for colleagues that they would like to hang out with. It was large enough that you got a sense that there was a lot to be discovered in terms of what each person's interests were, what each lab was doing. But it was small enough that you didn't feel like you got lost when everyone got together. I feel like I'm constantly being thought about, <laughs> like as just as a as a person and also as a group, like with my cohort, because they're always asking us like what we need and you know what's what's difficult, what's hard. We're actually involved in kind of um, helping them figure out like what the paces of our classes should be. I feel like this is the most supportive kind of environment. There's always somebody willing to help, willing to answer questions. We really do have a, a, a tight-knit, like almost family-like environment in our department. I came here because of that, and I've heard that other students have come here because of that same feeling as well. We had, you know, happy hours in which you could just go and, and you could sit down almost as friends with people that had decades of experience, that were leaders in their field. These people are, you know, very famous, very, very successful. I think that it's important just in making sure that we're really addressing scientific questions that are important for everyone, as many people as we can. And that means that we really need a range of diverse voices and representation within our department. Look at the color we have, look at the background, look at the diversity in terms of science and experience. This is a place where anybody can fit in. There are people from international, there are people that were local. So it was just like a nice blend to be able to step out of our classes, to go into the cafeteria together, to be in the computer lab together and realize that you have more in common than you think. I talk about this all the time, that I love Baltimore. There's a ton to do in Baltimore. Baltimore is a beautiful city, surrounded by nature, by, net, by state parks and national parks. DC right next to you, you have New York and Philadelphia. You're not living in a dorm. I think that's what, you know, some of the places I interviewed in New York, they had subsidized housing. I, you know, I had a partner that would be you know, with me and I was like, I don't, I'm too old to be living in a dorm. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't wanna live in a dorm. They're looking for people that are natural problem solvers. If, if someone has a 4.0, but really never faced any obstacles in life, it doesn't show much about their ability to overcome adversity. Don't be nervous. Like that's my, I guess that's my advice. Like don't be nervous about applying to Hopkins. Just at, like ask about it and then apply, but then just do it. <laughs> like every day I'm here, I know for sure that I'm, I'm in the right place.